change can feel very overwhelming. Community, they are the expert in everything that's happening in their lives. They know what's happening, they not know the why, but they know the what. But it's something that's affecting them. Climate change is here, and for us to protect the future, uh, we need to do something. Uh, one is to adapt to climate change, but then we need to help not make the conditions worse. And it's mostly in terms of water, right? It's we're gonna have less rain in places we used to have lots, um, we're gonna have way too much rain at times uh, in places that are not equipped. There's gonna be sea level rise, et cetera. We're already seeing this. I think as um, water leaders, we're really uniquely positioned to really understand the impact uh, and the need to address climate change because a lot of it, we see the impact of it in our day-to-day -day work, whether that be you know, less water resources, you know, changing in the variability of water resources. And water utility managers also know that it takes a lot of energy to move water around. So when we talk about water stewardship, we're also talking about energy stewardship. I think water leaders ignore climate change and what they need to do to adapt to it, let alone what they need to do to help mitigate it. Uh, they do so at their peril and they do so at the peril of their institutions and of the communities that they serve. I mean, fortunately, uh, water agencies around the country, uh, there are leading water agencies that are not just taking it seriously, but are actually getting into action to support legislation if needed, funding uh, as needed, but also to envision and start to implement some pretty grand projects that just 10 years ago would have seemed out of range. Greenhouse gas emissions come from urban water management. So again, if we can make an impact in reducing that, we can contribute to uh, reducing um, the impacts of climate change, which again, directly have an impact on our ability to deliver our services in a consistent manner. And how can you do it if you don't consider climate? Water industry, uh, although not the biggest culprit in climate emissions, uh, is both a contributor of not insubstantial size, but also a resource that has the ability to just do things differently in a way that uh, don't generate emissions from the way they power their facilities to the way they manage their facilities. And it calls upon the creativity that the operators in particular um, at wastewater and water facilities have uh, to take on yet another challenge that's gonna improve life for their communities. When I think of the utility managers that I've worked with in America, um, both on the drinking water side, wastewater side, hydropower, um, the irrigation. You know, th those folks have such a leadership role already as kind of nature managers in a, in a zone, right? Uh, natural infrastructure uh, and built infrastructure are all in their purview. And, you know, the, the ones that I think um, have already demonstrated climate leadership are the ones that, you know, can think a, a lot more holistically. So we need to think differently about water management. We need to look at innovation, we need to look at integration, but at the end, I think it's all about collaboration and really looking for new ideas. And you can't do it on your own. We have to partner with government. We have to partner with other communities, as mentioned before, but our partnerships have to be based on the outcomes needed for the community. We can protest, we can fuss and fight. That will, you know, remedy things sometimes quickly for a short period of time. But the longevity of the change has to come through policy change. And I think that's crucial to um, holding people accountable, also developing opportunities for funds to come down to community. Um, there's just a plethora of things that we can look into, but I think the policy change is the key thing to do. We need to provide safe, reliable water for everyone with no one left behind. Water resource recovery facilities are in every community. They're perfectly situated to provide that community with renewable energy. So when you think about it, the infrastructure is already there. And when we invest in improving water infrastructure, we're also making an investment in improving renewable energy infrastructure. Infrastructure of the future is an infrastructure that is not single purpose, it's multi-purpose, it's climate action focused, but at the end, the most important thing, it's people focused.